A new research study is now underway to measure the potential benefits of aerobic exercise in helping patients suffering from migraine. Based at Calgary's South Health Campus and in partnership with the YMCA located there, it is the first large controlled trial of its kind ever undertaken. For this study we're looking to see whether aerobic exercise uh, three times a week for a duration of three to six months can make a difference in migraine, in particular migraine frequency. But we're also going to be looking to see whether there's other factors like migraine intensity, quality of life, depression and anxiety that can be affected with regular routine um, physical activity. People who live with recurring migraine headaches have a limited number of options to help them ease the often debilitating symptoms. Aside from the pain, which can be severe and sometimes last for days, sufferers can also experience nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light or sound, and other neurological symptoms. Janine Warkenton, who has between 15 and 18 migraines a month, is one of the first to enroll in the study. I've had migraines my entire life, I think, as long as I can remember, and they were getting worse to the point where it was really negatively impacting my quality of life. And my doctor referred me to the CHAMP clinic, where they introduced me to this new research program that they had that studied exercise and migraines, so I volunteered. So once a patient is considered eligible for the study, meaning that they have migraine headaches and are between 18 to 50 years of age, then they can enter the study and in that case then they get randomly assigned to either a control group or an exercise group. The ones that enter the exercise group will then go on to do three sessions a week, one supervised by a kinesiologist and two on their own for a period of three months. Um, in the control group, they don't do any exercise for the first three months, but they get all the standard care that's provided at the headache clinic. But after that first three months, they actually have the opportunity to enter the study similar to the exercise patients, in that they can do the three sessions a week, one supervised by a kinesiologist, for the next three months. And then that way we can also see whether there's any difference um, with all the measures at baseline at three months and at six months. Of course, with migraine, everyone has a different experience. And so we can't say that the same thing in terms of if someone arrives with a migraine that the same thing will always happen the same way with every person. But there has been numerous times where during exercise um, a headache has been relieved and so that is actually, I, for me, I find that very exciting so that maybe if, instead of somebody going straight to take a medication um, to relieve some um, increasing symptoms of a headache, maybe exercise in that situation um, would be an option Although it will be months before investigators have the appropriate data to determine if exercise does indeed reduce migraines, they are optimistic, given the results of other smaller studies, that one day they may be able to recommend exercise as an effective prescription for migraine patients. I feel better. I'm hopeful that it'll continue to help. Uh, it's a great opportunity even just to get fitter if it did nothing for migraines. It's wonderful to be able to exercise. It's been a great help and uh, the resources are wonderful and the people are incredible and great to work with. We're currently recruiting people, um, so we need 80 patients for the study, and so far we have 10, so we're just a few months into it. We anticipate it'll take probably another year or year and a half or so to complete the study. And anyone that's eligible for the study, we're happy to see and assess, but they do need to be referred to the headache clinic, which can be done through their family physician.